Today we're going to be taking the exact same photos on this iPhone 11 Pro and this Sony a7 III, putting them next to each other and comparing them and seeing if you guys and these guys can tell the difference. <laughs> Battery's dead in the bus. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds really bad. <laughs> see, this is what you don't see in all the cool van life posts. But this is the reality of owning like a classic car. Is that they never really work. <laughs> Woo! It's working. I hope you guys aren't getting sick of bus content and like videos and photos of the yellow bus because we're having way too much fun shooting stuff of it and honestly we're just getting started and it's probably going to be in a lot of the videos from now on. Okay, this is the spot that we're going to be shooting the van. Nothing too crazy, we don't need anything wild. Well, we got some nice light coming in from the background. Got a cool little view with the ocean and everything. You get some cool photos of Hannah, kind of chilling in the driver's seat and chilling outside the van here. First shot, we're going to shoot just a nice wide of Hannah here in the bus. I got the iPhone 11 Pro, so it's got three different lenses, the wide, the regular, and then the more zoomed in one. We're going to do a couple different ones of the different scenarios, and I'm going to match the focal length to each one of them as best as I can. I'm gonna do in the regular photo mode, which is 26 millimeters at F2. I'm gonna try and line them up to look as similar as I possibly can. The iPhone has a long lens. Can you hold that? <laughs> so I'm gonna swap over onto here. The long lens on the iPhone is 56 millimeters. F2.2, I think. So we're gonna shoot that on here. I can swap over onto my longer lens and then we're gonna shoot a nice portrait of Hannah sitting right here. We're not gonna do anything too crazy with this photos. We're just gonna try to get a bunch of different ones in different scenarios so that we can pair them up next to each other. So first one, let's go from here. We're gonna get one of Hannah sitting up here on the roof and the iPhone has a super wide angle lens which is actually a 13 millimeter lens which my widest lens only allows me to go to 17 so I'm gonna move them around a bit and try and match them up. I want to get a little photo of a close-up of Hannah's hand with some sand. I think that's gonna look really cool so we're gonna do that in the dunes here. It might be completely raining right now, but you can see how miserable Hannah is and how happy I am. And that's because I'm wearing this brand new sweater from Cuts. They make the best, the best sweaters. They got hoodies, they got pullovers, they got t-shirts, and they're all made from like the most amazing fabric. So soft, you know like when you hear other people online saying a bunch of things about something, and then when you get it and you're like, Whoa, this is like what they meant. It's so nice. It's honestly so soft. If you guys want to find out anything more about any of the Cuts clothing, I'm going to leave them linked down in the description. Let's see if we can quickly take one more landscape while the sun's out and we don't get too rained out. I want to try test out the wide feature again. I'm going to sit in the car. <laughs> I'm going to sit in the car. <laughs> she doesn't have the keys. Let's see how long it takes for her to realize she doesn't have the keys. It's actually raining now, let's just quickly get one landscape. Okay, that's gonna be it guys. I know I'm wearing a cut hoodie and everything, but I still don't want to get drenched. So let's head back to the car and head back to the studio.
We're back in the studio now. Sorry, and we are back. Stop. <laughs> We are back in the studio now. I've had a little chance to look over the photos. I did like a basic color correct, not so much a color grade, just to make them look nice. And now we are gonna pull them up next to each other and see if these guys can figure out the difference. See if you guys can see which ones are which as we go along, you can leave it in the comments. You guys can obviously cheat. Hopefully you guys can't. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> First one we're gonna be looking at is the wide shot of the bus as it was kind of in the distance. This one was on the wide angle lens on the iPhone. Let's see what you guys oh. think. I think the one on the left is the iPhone, just cause it's a little more saturated, which iPhone likes to do. Okay. And the highlights on those bushes look very iPhone-y. Okay. But that's a hard one. What do you think, Anna? I don't know. I can't figure it out. You gonna guess? Um, I can't tell. I'm gonna go with no. Okay, so you're saying the right one is? No, I can't make this decision. You gotta just <laughs> three this guys. is the <laughs> right hand is the real camera. The one on the right. Yes. Yeah, because look at those greens. Yeah, look at those greens. And that's, what did you say? I said the one on the left is the iPhone. Oh, so you guys are agreeing? Yeah, okay. we're agreeing. So they're voting the one on the left is the iPhone, one on the right is the camera. Mm, look at those purple colours. And you guys are wrong. <laughs> is the opposite way. Yeah, but That's you must why. have tricked us. <laughs> this is the opposite way. Could any of you guys tell which one was which? And did you guys agree with what they thought? It was these bushes that threw me off. They look so like iPhone-y. Blown out and mushy, and these look so much better. Yeah. <laughs> For this next one, I think it's a little bit easier than the other one, so you guys are gonna have a better chance. Uh, like that. Let's take a look. <laughs> this one was shot on the portrait mode on the iPhone. Okay, I think I have. I think the left hand side is iPhone because that there's something weird happening. Wait, yeah, yeah also, around the think. seat. Yeah. Left is iPhone because this sign is so saturated mm -hmm. and the seat and sand looks a bit funky. Yeah. And this one obviously just has the beautiful. Yeah. Okay, as it goes, but portrait mode could be deceiving you. You guys are right on this one. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I do think the biggest thing about this one is that there's like a smooth flow of the, your depth of field where the iPhone, even in portrait mode, sometimes it just like completely throws the other things out. This next one is portrait mode. Okay. So let's see if you guys can tell the difference for this one. Boom. It's a nice one of Hannah just like sitting in the driver's seat of the van. I thought it'd be a nice one to get a nice close up showing skin and the background and everything. I think the right hand side is the iPhone one. Okay. Yeah. Why? Same. Why? What makes you guys notice? There's that hand is so um, clear and there's something weird going on in the chest area. The I don't know what it is, but that's I mean, it, weird. This patch of hair over here as well, the iPhone. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> it's fully blurred out. That's one yes. of the big giveaways like with portrait mode The iPhone will sometimes just put something completely out of focus like hair That's not meant to be like thrown into like the shallow depth of field So oh you guys yeah. you guys got that one right. The ha. left one is just too clean. It's the backlight. Yeah We're experts. The next one we have here is also gonna be taken in portrait mode But it's not a portrait and the idea that I wanted to do with this one is like show that blurry background and see what you can achieve with that fake depth of field that you get on the iPhone versus an actual real phone, so. I think the right hand side is iPhone because there's no, it doesn't get blurry and blurrier as it gets further away. It seems to be the same amount of blurriness. Yeah, yeah okay. just one consistent. The right one looks more HDR, which is what iPhone likes to do. Oh yeah, the, the shadows are so yeah. lifted. Sean's laughing because we're wrong. Yeah, are, you, are we wrong? We're well, not you wrong. haven't given an answer yet. <laughs> I said that right hand side is iPhone. That <laughs> is incorrect. What? The one on the right is the Sony A7 III and the one on the left is the iPhone. Oof. The one on the right does look like a better image, but it also just looks a bit fake. It looks fake? Yeah. yeah. That, I, Did you lift the shadows no, a lot? No, th this one, I don't know why, this one looks more like the iPhone because of how even that exposure is. Yeah. And this one has like really dark so shadows. The last one that we had was this kind of landscape image of the bay and everything. Because you guys have got two wrong and two right, 
this is the last image the and it's going to be the deciding one. <laughs> In my opinion, this is quite a hard one to figure okay. out. I think I have my answer. What? How? You gotta make okay. a decision. Left has to be the normal camera. Yeah, I think right is the iPhone. Yeah. Because all the shadows and the waves are crushed and the mountain is a bit crushed and all these plants up front just look way less sharp. I think it looks just so less. HD. The iPhone one, it looks like... It's been too over, sharp. Too sharp. Over edited, yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys are correct. Oh, yes. that one. <laughs> Just made it. <laughs> you think the you redeemed yourself. I would have had to quit photography. If <laughs> Super interesting to see that like it's hard to distinguish between the two. You, yeah. you need to get down here and look. And mm. that's why like taking photos on your phone and stuff doesn't make. Of course it is better. It's not going to be the same images. You can do a lot more with an actual camera, but you can get pretty good photos on a phone and on an iPhone and. That's something really important for a lot of you that can't maybe afford a camera and you only have access to a phone. I mean, Do what you can too. with that. Yeah. If you're just scrolling through Instagram, I wouldn't have questioned a single one of these. Like yeah. it would have been yeah. the same result whether it was iPhone or A7 III. Yeah. True. It's more about the contents of the photo and your composition and everything. So this should end right now. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> See you next time. But that's gonna be it for this one guys. I hope you found that interesting and maybe you guys are as shocked as us as to how similar they actually are. I'm shocked. Yeah. Sorry. Offended a little bit. Like, like you guys just just scraped <laughs> through on the win there. I do take the personally. <laughs> but okay. Other than that, hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will all see you in the next one. And follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>